Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton was last night met with defiance as he sought to assure St. Andrew residents that there were no threats from the impending development of the old cholera cemetery near the Canadian High Commission. And Dr. Tufton says in respecting the victims of the cholera outbreak in 1860, a memorial site should be erected. About 240 Jamaican workers at a luxury golf resort in South Carolina are to share two million U.S. dollars under a deal to settle a lawsuit alleging that for two years their employer wrongfully deducted money from their pay. The BBC is reporting that Nigeria has confiscated 2.5 tons of plastic rice smuggled into the country by unscrupulous businessmen. The Nigerian Customs Service says the fake rice was intended to be sold in markets during the festive season. Jamaican sprint sensation Usain Bolt has received his $42 million Christmas gift. The 2017 Jeep Wrangler Avorza displays custom-made features and a music system and the patented logo of the Jamaican athlete. In sports, Jamaica's reggae boys are set to take on Honduras in an international friendly on February 16. The match is scheduled to take place at the BBVA Stadium in Houston, Texas. And in your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy with showers across sections of eastern and north central parishes. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers across sections of eastern and central parishes. And that's it for the Greener Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.